Ladies and gentlemen, all this week, these 10 contestants will be battling it out in seven different game shows testing their knowledge, skill, and luck. Let's make a deal. Catch 21, Whammy, the all new pressure luck, Wheel of Fortune, The Joker's Wild, Eye Rollers, and The Match Game. In the end, only one person will be left standing and will be able to call themselves champion and take home the championship trophy. From the MVG Production Studios, it's time for the second annual Game Show Marathon. And now, it is the man in charge of the mayhem and your host, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to the finale of Game Show Marathon for 2019 right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here for this one. Decided to get dressed up for the occasion because this is a big moment because tonight we're going to find out who is going to be our 2019 Game Show Marathon champion as we play our final game of the marathon. Currently in the jackpot right now, we have $483,422 in cash prizes in there. By the time this final game's over with, somebody could be playing for half a million or even a million dollar jackpot bonus. Who's it going to be? We'll find out as our contestants get ready to match the stars on the finale of Game Show Marathon. Get ready to match the stars. Alan Burns. Marty Bingo. <laughs> Andrew St. Clair. Cedric Weatherspoon. Justin Noyes. And Jason Myers. <laughs> play the star setting big money match game. And now here's the star of match game, Gene Rayburn. Gene's not hosting this, I am. How you doing, folks? Yeah. We're doing good. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you. All right, Gary. Welcome in, guys. This is the finale of Game Show Marathon. We are glad to have each and every one of you here with us, and we are ready to finally wrap this one up and see which one of our two contestants is going to have a shot at possibly up to a million dollars in cash and prizes in our in our big money super match tonight. But before we meet our two finalists, let's meet our panel of craziness that's going on here. Give it up for the panel, ladies and gentlemen. We got hey, everybody. Hello. Uh, that's enough out of y'all. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, going across the top here, we have Alan Burns, our our former our former uh, game show marathon champion. Hi. Uh, yeah, we got Marty Bingo with us as well. Hello. Andrew Saint Clair. Hi, everybody. Oh, yeah, and then across, <laughs> across the bottom. Here we got a new face with us here on the panel. First time, I believe, as a panelist here on Match Games, Mr. Cedric Weatherspoon. Hello. Uh, we have uh, Justin mm -hmm. Noise back with us here. Yes. And the man, the myth, the legend himself, Mr. Jason Myers. Well, uh, gentlemen, you guys, uh, thank you for volunteering your services to be victims. I mean, panelists and for today's show. Um, it's going to be up to you six, which, again, I feel bad for our two contestants tonight. It's going to be up to you six to determine which one of our two finalists here is going to walk away with possibly up to a million dollars tonight. So let's meet our two finalists, starting with... First, the man who's won the most money so far through the um, marathon here with a grand total so far at this point of $146,075 in cash and prizes. Welcome in, Mr. Mark Leota. Hello. And his opponent here. So far, who's racked up $127,918 in cash and prizes, Mr. Corey Lawrence. Gentlemen, you have been put through some very tough and but fun and entertaining uh, game shows this year for uh, Game Show Marathon. Uh, Mark, you actually won your way here by 
p winning, uh, let's make a deal to begin with uh, getting your automatic buy into the semifinal round. You excelled well in the Joker's Wild yesterday, and that led us to you being here tonight. Meanwhile, Corey had a little bit tougher road, not doing as well in... Um, Let's make a deal. Going after the big deal of the day, it came up a little short, but he clawed his way back through a very exciting game of Wheel of Fortune and High Rollers to make it here to the finals tonight. So, one of you two is going to be walking out of here with the Game Show Marathon Trophy, and again, possibly up to a million dollars, depending on how well you guys do in our audience match. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, but only one of you gets a shot at it. The other one's just going to walk out of here still with over $100,000 of cash and prizes. So, with that said, you guys ready to play some match game? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you guys know how this works. We play three rounds. Whoever has the most matches at the end of the third round will be the winner, will be crowned the 2019 Game Show Marathon Champion. We'll go on to play our big, uh, big money audience match for a chance of another $20,000 added to your score and possibly another $20,000 added to our jackpot at the end. But we'll talk about that round when we get there. Let's get started with round number one here of Match Game. Uh, I've got Mark, you have the won the most so far through the marathon, so I'm going to let you choose first. Would you like letter A or B for this one? A, please. Letter A. All right, so new round, new game, Match Game. Everybody plays this one. Uh, you'll just PM me your answers on this one. I'll I'll drop it into the uh, chat here for the folks in the audience and for everybody at home. The question is this. Dumb Dora is so dumb. Oh, 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 not bad considering they did not know that was coming. Well done, guys. Uh, <laughs> the first time she was on an ocean liner, she thought a porthole was actually a blank. <laughs> Yes, Dumb Dora was so dumb, the first time she was on an ocean liner, she thought the porthole was a blank. Alright. Definitely going to be some en entertaining and interesting answers on this one. Oh, locked Just in. a little bit. Oh, Jason's in. Just a little bit. I wonder who locked in first. Was it me or Cedric? Yeah, you were first. And I'm the first one to finish. And everybody's in. You were finished a long time ago, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, Mark <laughs> send it to you there. Uh, dumb Dora was so dumb, the first time she was on an ocean liner, she thought the, a porthole was a blank. What do you say to that? Manhole cover. Manhole cover. Okay. Ooh. All right. Let's see how many manhole covers we find in the audience, starting with Alan. Alan, what would you say there? Well, you know, she's really so dumb that, you know, you, you sometimes see these little dots on them, and, you know, maybe she thought it was a clock. A clock. All right. Not a match there. Uh, we'll go over to Marty. Marty, what did you say? Well, it's uh, it's circular. Mm-hmm. And, you know, why not Why not have a little bun? Why not have a little fun? I said a darts board. A darts board. Okay. <laughs> not a match there. Uh, we go over to Andrew St. Clair now. Well, um, mine doesn't make sense uh, in this case, but, uh, you know, for you know, I said a room with a view. <laughs> with a view. Okay. Oh, that's obvious. Yeah, um, th oh. that's something to say oh. the least, but okay. No oh. matches across the top tier. Let's try the lower tier here. We go with the newcomer, Cedric. What do you say? Well, Dumb Dora is dumb, and she thought the porthole was a toilet. Toilet! <laughs> she, oddly enough, she would not be the first, probably. <laughs> Right. <laughs> All right, not a match there, Justin. We come to you. We are looking for a manhole covered. Can you got one for us? Dumb though was so the she thought that porthole was a pothole. A pothole. Okay. <laughs> not quite what we're looking for. It was close. And you're at least in the right you're in the right frame of mind, just not what we're looking for. 
Um, Jason, Jason, you're the last one here, sir. We are looking for a yes, manhole cover. Hey, Mark, it would have helped if you got into the Louisiana frame of mind. It was a bathroom toilet. A bathroom <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Mm. All right. Well, first time through, unfortunately, no matches for you, Mark. But again, still got a couple rounds left, so maybe you can get some here. So that means uh, we're gonna go. We're going to go to uh, Corey now, and Corey, you get letter B. And here comes your question. And this is for everyone here. I can't believe I actually put two of these in the same round, but okay. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah. Lo oh, lo lonely Laura is so lonely. How lonely oh, is she? she? Not bad. <laughs> instead of asking Siri for directions, she asked Siri for a blank. <laughs> yes. Lonely Laura is so lonely, instead of asking Siri for directions, she asked Siri for a blank. I'm kind of glad I didn't pick this one. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. I first thing again. Oh, shut your mouth down. Man. Actually, you were not first that time. Who beat me? Who beat me? Alan and Marty both Who? locked in before you did. Who cares? Who I first. It's not a. It's not a race. It's not a competition. The only two competing are Mark and Corey. All you have to do is come up with an answer. At right. this point. No way, miss. But anyway, Corey. I knew I should have brought my spray bottle. Right. <laughs> right. Corey, over to you, sir. A lonely Laura is so lonely. Instead of asking Siri, Siri for directions, she asked Siri for a friend. A friend. Oh. All right. Uh, a very good answer. We'll see how many friends we have in the audience here. Starting with Mr. Alan Burns. Alan. Well, Corey. I didn't say friend. You know what I said? Hmm? A best friend! Best friend, yes. Oh, there match. we go. There you go. On the board there. <laughs> Marty, we're looking for some friendship. Well, so lonely. You gotta have somebody to play tech with. I said friend. Friend is a match, all right. There we go. All right, Ding. two in a row there. Well done. Andrew, over to you. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to match, but... So, Laura was so lonely that that Siri that she asked Siri for a boyfriend. Boyfriend. Um, it's general yeah. versus mm, specific. Judges. Uh, oh. Really, guys, come on. <laughs> I didn't think so. Yeah. General versus yeah. specifics. Nah, We're not there. talking the romantic type of friends here. <sighs> Mm, yeah, yeah, it's romantic versus just having platonic relationship, I guess. But yeah. the judge is being yeah. picky today. Uh, <laughs> to it, Ira. I know, right? <laughs> Cedric, over to you, sir. We're looking for just a friend. Oh, well, Laura is lonely, but I didn't say friend. I said she needed men. She needed <laughs> men. <laughs> man. Yeah. Okay. Dirty. Takes friend to a whole new level, then. Yeah, okay. it does. And they're adjusting. We're looking for some friendship. What you got? How about a partner? Partner. That's no. borderline. Yeah. That's borderline. No. Borderline at best, but like, yeah, not quite, not oh. quite a friend we're looking for. Jason. <laughs> well, uh. Why well, do I have a feeling this is going to be really good? <laughs> or really bad. One of the okay. two. Well, the loneliness got to her and desperate times call for desperate measures. She asked Siri for a good time. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Apparently man. looking for a one night stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> apparently, oh, apparently Siri delivers more than just that. Okay. <laughs> Well, Corey, you match two, though, so you're on the board. You're ahead two to nothing. We're going to go ahead and jump into round number two here on a match game. And, Corey, since you're ahead, we're going to ask you to select this time. Would you like A or B? I'll go A this time. You want letter A. Okay. Uh, last round, of course, you matched Alan and Marty, so you guys sit out. For everyone else, I have this. Remember this over here. All right. You know Paul McCartney from the Beatles, right? Of course, yeah. Yep. Yes, yep. sir. Yeah. Um, 
apparently he said in an interview once that one of the Beatles' biggest hits was about his private parts. <laughs> oh my! It's, it, it's true. Um, so apparently now, now that you guys now all know this, you are never going to listen to Blank the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Paul McCartney from the Beatles said in an interview once that the Beatles, one of the Beatles' biggest hits was about his private parts. Now knowing this, you'll never listen to Blank the same way again. Oh, I got a good one for that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm quite scared, obviously. <laughs> oh, God, yes. There's <laughs> yeah. so many ways you can go with this. Sure. And everybody's in. All right, Corey, so we now come to you, sir. Again, Paul McCartney from the Beatles said in an interview once that one of the Beatles' biggest hits was about his private parts. Now, knowing this, you're never going to listen to Blank the same way again. What do you say there? I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. Okay. All right. Let's see how much hand holding's going on the panel up here. Andrew. Well, I, I I didn't say that. Uh, uh, we just didn't know about this, so I said yesterday. Yesterday. All right, not a match there. All right, um, Cedric, come to you, sir. Ah, uh, shoot, uh, Corey, 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 Corey. I I would help you with. I'll help you, give you a helping hand, but I said yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally think that was the answer that uh, came to mind for me first. Uh, yeah. Justin, we're looking for... Oh, I want to hold your hand. What does say you? I met him of his band partners, Paul McCartney. Yeah. He said what now? Yeah. He said, he said what now? Wait, 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 wait. Give me your card, Justin. Give me your card. He said yeah. Paul <laughs> McCartney. <laughs> Boo. Yeah, I think we were looking. Uh, I think Jessica completely missed that one. We were looking for like a title of a Beatles oh, song. Oh boy! <laughs> Here, but if I had this answer, I would have said I would have hold your hand. Right. <laughs> yeah, but that's not what you said, so I can't give you no points <laughs> right, for that. So... Um, Jason, no. save the sinking ship, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't say yellow submarine. I didn't say I want to hold your hand, unfortunately. I said a hard day's night. Hard day's Ooh. night. Okay. <laughs> a good answer, but not the one we're looking for. So, end of that one. Corey, you still have two points there. Didn't match anyone. All right. Let's see if Mark, you can catch up here. You get a letter B here. You didn't match anyone the first time around, so hopefully we can do better <laughs> this time around. <laughs> We suck. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Present company not excluded. Right. <laughs> wow. All right. All right, players. Queen Guinevere said, I couldn't wait to get Sir Lancelot in bed. I was so impatient, I took off his suit of armor using a blank. <laughs> Yeah, Queen Guinevere said, I couldn't wait to get Sir Lancelot in bed. I was so impatient, I took off a suit of armor using a blank. Oh, I'm first. Yes. It's uh, not a race. If you, if you say that yeah. one more time, I swear to God. Calm your tits, I swear. That's, that's not uh, good. Uh, yeah. my answer. Still, calm your tits. Yeah, it's okay. Remember, it's not about the speed of your answer. It's about actually having a good one that'll match our player. I, That's the important part here. I think I got a good one. Can you repeat the question? Yeah, Queen Guinevere said, I couldn't wait to get Sir Lancelot in bed. I was so impatient, I took off his suit of armor using a blank. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Yeah, using blank or using a blank. Either way you want to fra phrase it there. I, I don't know if that's going to be good, but let's see how this goes. Oh, 
All right. And everybody's <laughs> locked in. Mark, we now come to you, sir. Queen Guinevere said, I couldn't wait to get Sir Lancelot in bed. I was so impatient, I took off his suit of armor using... A knife. A knife. Okay. Oh, my. Uh, that, that, would be, that would definitely be the long way of getting off a suit of armor, but hey, you, you could probably do it if it's sharp enough. Let's uh, see how many kniffies we can find up here on the panel, starting with Alan. Kniffies. <laughs> Well, you see, he wanted to get into bed, right? So he right. wanted to use something in the bed to help him. So I said a box spring. Box spring. <laughs> okay, the, the, of all the answers that could be up here, that was one of them. <laughs> I think I might have had my head on that one, Brandon. Let's see. Marty, over to you. Um, hey, Marty, I, could I see right quick? Say what? I think that might be it. Go ahead. I was about to say, I don't want to know what you're thinking of. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I really don't. Uh, so Lancelot was one of the knights of the round table. Right. If you really, if, if you really wanted to get it off, just use the whole table. That is the rush way, but okay. Not quite yeah. what we're looking for. A table, however, is not a knife, so I can't give you credit. But that was pretty good, though. Andrew, we are looking for a kniffy or a knife. If you have, you got one. I, I, I wish I said I had something longer. I said sword. A sword. Okay. Good answer there. Not quite. Not, it's a very elongated knife, but I guess the judge is not taking that one. No matches across the top tier, so we're going to the bottom tier here. Cedric. Oh, this 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 one right here went out left field. I'm thinking, out of all the answers you could have said, man, you said knife. <laughs> we try to take the clothes off quick. The queen wants that sword to put in her sheath. I said magic. Magic? Okay. <laughs> that is not a bad answer. <laughs> the new guy's got it here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right. Uh, Justin, we're still looking for a knife. Do you have one? I got no, no, I got no knife, but I got boobs. Oh, no. There we go. Let me see the card again. Sample boy title, man. Sounds like something Burberry would send. Yeah, that is, that's straight out of the John Burberry playbook if I've ever heard an answer. All right, Jason, you're our last hope. We're still looking for a knife. Do you have a knife for us? Again, it pays to have a Louisiana state of mind. Because <laughs> me and Cedric were thinking on the same wavelength. I just took it a, about one step further. I said Merlin's magic wand. Magic wand, okay. <laughs> At least period accurate there, but no... um. <laughs> no match there. So the end of our second round, Corey's still ahead, two to nothing. We go to our third and final round. This will decide our winner of the 2019 Game Show Marathon. Uh, Corey, you are still ahead, so you get your choice, sir, A or B. I will go B. All right. Letter B. That would have been another good Beatles song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, again, you matched Alan and Marty earlier, so that means you are going to be trying to match everybody else here. All right, folks. Uh, rumor has it that Batman and Robin are actually seeing a couple's counselor. <laughs> yes, Ro Robin's big. Rob Robin's biggest complaint is that Batman never lets him blank. <laughs> Yes, rumor has it that Batman and Robin are seeing a couple's counselor. Robin's biggest complaint is that Batman never lets him blank. Yeah. I think oh, I got a good one. I think I got a good one. I got a good one. Wait till you see my, uh, my final answer. All right, everyone is in. We now turn to Corey. Corey, rumor has it that Batman and Robin are seeing a couples counselor. Robin's biggest complaint is that Batman never lets him 
Drive the Batmobile. Drive the Batmobile. All right, good answer. I like that one a lot. Let's see how many Batmobiles we can find up here. Uh, Andrew, we'll start with you. Uh, the, uh, the, that, that's a good one. I said, drive the Batmobile. Hey, it's a match. Here we are. Well done. Up to three now. Cedric. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I went with the rumors saying uh, couple counseling. I said, uh, be on top. Be on top. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, Alan, chip, please. <laughs> chip, yeah, the big check, please. <laughs> How do you know about all that? <laughs> It, it pays to have good people that... Uh, Unless you swing that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, as, soon as, I, this que as soon as I read this question in my mind, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh here boy. we go. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're looking for a Batmobile. What did you bring to the table? Uh, if they were sleeping, they wouldn't snuggle. Just want to snuggle. Oh, oh that's cute, <laughs> but wrong, but cute nonetheless. And Jason. There's a whole list of things that Batman won't let him do. He won't let Robin wear the suit, won't <laughs> let him wear the mask, and he won't let him drive the Batmobile. Hey, it's a match. There we go. <laughs> All right. And yes, that was a multi-card answer. Uh, that, that was a multi-card answer, but it's all there. So, Corey, you've got yourself four points sitting pretty good right now. All right, Mark, so that means we come to you. That means you need at least four to tie. Five of them, however, five correct answers will give you the win. Mm -hmm. And we'll get you a shot. We'll make you a game show marathon champion. All right, you, ch you have letter A. All right. Uh, nobody's matched. You've matched no one yet, so that means everybody plays on this one. And here it comes. There's a new version of Romeo and Juliet that's being produced by Jerry Springer. In this oh, one, no. yeah. In this one, Juliet drinks the poison when she finds out that Romeo is blank. Oh, no. Okay, good. Again, there's a new version of Romeo and Juliet that's being produced by Jerry Springer. In this one, Juliet drinks the poison when she finds out that Romeo is blank. I think I got a funny answer, but it might be stupid too. Alright, just waiting <laughs> on two more here. Andrews and okay, Andrews in now it's just Jason. Speak of the devil. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once again, yeah. There's a new version of Romeo and Juliet that's being produced by Jerry Springer, and this one Juliet drinks the poison when she finds out that Romeo is blank. It's only, about, it's only about a half hour show there, Jason. All right, here we go. All right, he's in. Mark, we turn to you. Remember, you need four to tie. Five will give you the win, sir. There's a new version of Romeo and Juliet that's being produced by Jerry Springer. And this one, Juliet drinks the poison when she finds out that Romeo is... A cheater. A cheater. Okay. All right, we are looking for four cheats. And we're not even playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? <laughs> Alan, we go to you. Well, um, I didn't say cheater. I said a hooker. A hooker. <laughs> Definitely not a match here. Um, Marty had to step away, but he left his card here in the slot. And it says 
sleeping with her mom. <laughs> well, technically cheating. That, that's technically cheating, Judge. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, it's a match. We're counting it. All right. Andrew, uh, we are looking for cheating. Andrew, wake up. <laughs> yeah, so he got his answer. This is where you flip your card over. That's all right. Um, I'll find it. I'll pull it out here for him. And the card says, is not Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, in this case. Yep, yeah, not a match. So, all right, so uh, that means, Mark, you need the rest of these for a tie. Here we go, Cedric. It's on you. <sighs> Romeo calls Juliet to drink that poison because he confessed to her he was gay. He was gay. <laughs> oh, not a no. match. And Corey, you are the 2019 Game Show Marathon winner. Woo! All right, big game, guys. I've got to go. All right, well, thank you, Mark, for playing. We'll get your cash total to you. This. And folks, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Corey's gonna play the Big Money Super Match. We'll do that right after the break here on Game Show Marathon. Stay with us. Welcome back to Game Show Marathon and Match Game here. Corey is our 2019 Game Show Marathon winner, and now he's going to have a chance to pick himself up some additional cash, and he'll get the shot at our Big Money Super, big money super Match, which could pay off a jackpot potentially of one million dollars if you're lucky enough. All right. So, if first off, I will say this to you, Corey, for winning uh, the game, winning match game, you've already picked yourself up a bonus ten thousand dollars in cash. So that's yours mm -hmm. to keep, no matter what happens. But now we're gonna play two audience matches here. If you can get them both, that's gonna add an additional twenty thousand dollars to our jackpot. All right. So with that said, we listen to the sweet tones of Mr. Gene Rayburn as he explains our opening game here. We pulled a studio audience not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. We have game blank. $500 for matching the most popular answer. And for matching the second <laughs> most popular, you'll get $250. <laughs> tight. And then if you match <sighs> the third most frequently given response, you. you get $100. Three of the six stars will sneeze. help you. All right, three of the six stars can help you. You have game blank. Game blank. Oh. It says Alan. Game show. Game show. Makes sense. All right. I got one more here. Jason. Game table. Game table. All and right. Andrew. Andrew. Game over. Game over. All right. So you've got game show, game table, and game over. You can go with one of those, or you can go with one of your own. What What do you say there? Got to go with what I'm playing right now, game show. Game show. All right. We're going to see if it's up there. we start at the bottom, work our way. Start up with the $100 NBC, response. The $100 number. Game over. All right. Not a match there. With mine. All right. Looking for looking well. for game show. Let's see if it's under the $250 Maybe response. Maybe see the $250 number. Game show. It's a match. There it is. All right. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Now that I think of it, I think Game of Thrones is top. Well, yeah, what do you think? It's, it's Game of Thrones. I'm walking out of here. Same here. Well, I'm curious to see yourself. All right, Earls, if you're back there, go ahead and slide it. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Oh! No. Yeah. I always say the Thrones. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. Well, that gives you $250 for that one, so the least... The least, so rigged. <laughs> the least you'll play for on that one is 10 times that amount or another 
$2,500 there. <laughs> but we're going to give you a chance to see if you can um, add to it with our second audience match. Uh, we pulled a recent studio audience and gave, asked them to give their we best response a to this. Not too long ago and said, write down your best answer to this. Keep it blank. Keep it blank. I'll go Alan. Alan? <sighs> Keep it short. Keep it short. Okay. Andrew. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. All right. And Jason. Keep it up. Up. All right, you got, okay. you got keep it short, keep it simple, keep it up. You can go with one of those, or you can go on, on your own. I've got it between two here. Either keep it up or keep it clean. Um, I'm going to say keep it up. Keep it up. All right. We're going to hopefully see if it's up, up there. We start at the bottom again as we reveal the $100 May answer. May we see the $100 number. Keep it clean. All right, not the match there. Let's take a look under the two hundred fifty dollar answer. Two hundred fifty dollar number. Keep it up. Right. There it is. All right, there we go. That's not bad. Let's see what it was. What was the five hundred dollar? Five hundred dollar. Keep it real. 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 Okay. Keep it real. It real. Yep. was wrong. <laughs> yes, I love that <laughs> skit. That's, that's a classic. All right, Corey. So that means you want another two hundred fifty dollars. So the least you'll play for is another ten times that amount, or twenty five hundred dollars. Add that to the previous amount. You play for five thousand dollars. So the, we're at least going to add another five thousand to the final total for the jackpot. But now here's where the st here's where the lucky spin of the star wheel comes in. Not only if you will, not only if you spin this wheel, well, if you land on a star, we're going to double that amount to ten thousand dollars and add that to the jackpot. But also, this will also implement for your for your final big money super match. All you have to do now is we spin the wheel. Whoever it mm -hmm. lands on, that's the person you're going to be playing for the, the jackpot for. If you <laughs> land, if you land on the star mm. space, however, we're doubling the jackpot. So yeah, it all comes down to this moment here. You've already you've already guaranteed to win almost uh, over $150,000. That's yours. But let's see if you can take down almost a $500,000 jackpot with it. So, for the lucky spin the star wheel, hopefully you're playing for a bunch of money. Here we go. Come on, double. Come on, double. Trying to bring it back here. Come on, double. 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 You know double. you want it. Double. Oh, oh, get him! Oh, 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 so close! All right, so no, hey. no double there. So we're gonna be playing for five thousand more. Added to the jackpot. So Corey, this big money super match for you is worth four hundred and eighty-eight thousand four hundred and twenty-two dollars. If you can match Marty. Now, just like just like in the regular super match, you must it must be an exact match to what he says in order to get the money. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So you turn around and face me and mm -hmm. Marty for yeah. your big money super match. Write down your best response to this. Blank ache. Blank ache. That's A C H E. Blank ache. Or blank ache. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, so many good ones. Marty, I just threw one to you. Alright. Marty's locked in. Alright, J alright, Corey. What answer do you think matches his card for four hundred and eighty eight thousand four hundred and twenty two dollars? Two good definitives here. And I know it's not going to be the latter. I'm going to go for the first one that went into my head. Headache. Headache. All right. A very good answer. Let's see if it's there. For almost a half a million dollars. Marty, what did you say? Corey, first of all, congratulations on being the champ. Yep. Uh, how do I explain this? I, I don't know. 
There's something else I there's something else I'd like to tell you too, Corey. What? You got almost half a million dollars, I said head. Head I said I still got it! Where'd he go? Congratulations to Corey Lawrence, our 2019 Game Show Marathon Champion. Uh, you have done an amazing job throughout the entire tournament, and I now happily present you the tw the Game Show Marathon Championship Trophy. And Thank a, you. And a final check for your final total, sir, of $631,340 cash and prizes all yours. Give it up for Corey Lawrence, our winner, folks. <laughs> Corey, you got any words for the good people out there? Man, I didn't expect it to turn around this, but hey, my birthday's coming up, so I figured it probably played a little influence. I could use some of that good birthday wishes there. Um, congratulations to you. Congratulations to everyone that participated and was a part of making this year's Game Show Marathon happen. We want to thank all of our contestants. We want to thank all the support staff here for ma helping make this possible all week. And most importantly, thank you to all the good folks out there in YouTube land that continue to support the channel here, continue to subscribe, watch all the videos and stuff here. Without you guys, none of this would be possible as well. Um, but that wraps it up here. The 2019 Game Show Marathon is in the books. We thank you so much for watching. And if you like this series and you want to see how we got all the way here, check out the entire playlist on the channel. Check out live year's marathon if you didn't get to see that and if you want to see any other great game shows past present or future here on the channel make sure you click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell that way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at mvg productions and until we see you next year for the 2020 game show marathon i'm your host brandon scruggs simply saying thank you so much for watching we will see you all next time take care bye for now folks <laughs> Thank you.